You're Danny, right? You're the slime bag who hit Will. Yep, I laid him out flat. You went for him before he was ready. Ah, so that's the excuse you've given you, is it? I'd like to see how you go in a fair fight. That was fair. It's my fault the guy's so You want to stand a chance, you little jerk? Oi, 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 settle down, young lady. He's the one you should be talking to, not me. What the hell do you think you're doing coming back here like this, Sam? Ain't throwing your weight around. Give it a rest, Alf. No, 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 no. You better get out of here and give it a bit of a rest yourself, young fella. You want to get rid of me? Give me the money you owe me and I'll be out of here before you know it. Don't listen to him, love. Nobody owes him a cent. Uh, Don, um, maybe you should have a word to young Sam, too. I had a run-in with him earlier on. Oh, what, he, uh, he won't agree to reinvest in the diner, you mean, or...? No, 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 it's nothing to do with that. Um, look, I, I had to say this, but it was, it was like he'd been drinking or something, you know? He, he wasn't all there. He, he was sort of woozy, wobbly. Yes, well, perhaps he was just tired off, I mean, with, uh, with all the training he's been doing. He's, uh, he, he takes his surfing very seriously, you know. Well, we saw him surfing and he wasn't anywhere near as good as he used to be. Well, everyone's entitled to an off day, Duncan. And anyway, I mean, he's, uh, he's doing really well on the circuit. Is that what he said? What do you mean? It's just the latest surf mag had an article about this year's newcomers. And, well, it said Sam was eliminated from the first round of the Palm Beach Classic and he didn't even write a mention in the column. You've got to admit, Don, he's not the same kid he was six months ago. No. No, I know. It's all my fault. I should never have agreed to let him go. Hey. Oh, hi. Brady's not here either, then. Try Sally Fletcher's place. She's been there half the week being a girly swat. Oh, the debate, of course. Well, I'll be glad when that's all over. I can get my girlfriend back. Coming a bit of a habit for you, isn't it, Mitch? Losing girlfriends? This is such a great... It used to be okay, but now... It's... Wait, Mitch? You know, didn't anyone ever teach you manners? It's rude to whisper. I better get going. Um, actually, Mitch, um, if you're heading home, do you mind if I walk with you? Of course. Hey, you want to see me? Yeah, you got some stuff? You good for it? Yeah, I'm good for it. Not here! What? Where then? Um, that drop-in centre place. I'll meet you there in about an hour. Whatever. Oh, Sam. Sam, the very person I was looking for. Have you got a minute? I'd like a quick word. What about? Um, have you had breakfast? Um, can I get you something or...? No, I'm fine. Right. Um, Sam, it, um, it gives me uh, no particular joy to say this, all right? But it's, uh, well, it's becoming perfectly clear that um, things aren't working out too well for you. And, well, I just wanted you to know that no one would think any worse of you if you admit you've made a mistake and come back home. Sam? You can forget about it, because it's not going to happen. Well, you can't go on like this. Like, you really care what happens to me. What? You never have cared about me. Not really. I'm just not the kind of grandson you wanted, am I? I'm not an intellectual nerd like that bloke or Edward. No, that's not true. You just can't handle having a second-rate surfer for a grandson, can you? That is unfair. I like you for, for who you are. I really do. It's good, because I don't really care what you think. I'm never coming back here, ever. Sorry, mate. No, you're all right. No worries. G'day, Chips. Sam, heard you were back. Yeah, well, good news travels fast, eh? Yeah, so does the bad. What happened with you and Will? Ah, oh, you know, boys will be boys. Nothing serious then? Nah. So, tell me, what have you been up to? What do you want to know? I travel heaps, hang out with cool people, and I get to surf the best waves in the country. I'm so glad everything worked out for you. Life's a beach. <laughs> So, uh, I heard about you and Summer Bay High's pinup boy hooking up. What's going on there? Oh, uh, you know. Same old, same old. That's what me and Harry are like. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey, hello. Man, she wants you. So, how you been? Okay. Can we go somewhere else, please? Take her up the sand dunes. It's nice and quiet up there. No, I... 
No, it's all right. Hey, everyone, listen up. You all know uh, Sam, don't you? Great surfer, great stud. <laughs> I was just wondering if you're all as fed up with his attitude as I am. <laughs> great surfer. Word has it that you've bombed out in just about every competition you've entered, mate. In fact, I've heard that you can't even stand up on a surfboard these days. I guess that's what happens when you're permanently off your face, eh? <laughs> in the great stud. <laughs> Please. We won't have the problem with someone else to burst about that. Oh, shut your face! <laughs> or what? Or you'll hit me? I'll make it easy for you. I'll turn around. <laughs> hey! Sam! What did you do to yourself? I had a car accident. Right. Well, aren't you going to ask me what's my name? What's your name? Well, my friends call me Sandy. Right. Well, my friends call me Sam. Well, do you fancy a game of cards, Sam? Well, I don't know if I can, Sandy. I've only got one arm that works. In that case, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Very funny. So, what did you do to yourself? I just had a baby. A baby? Are you joking, right? So, do you know how to play poker? Right, so your dad lives in Hollywood, does he? Of course he does. And what is he then? A big movie star, I suppose? He's a film score composer. Yeah, right. It's true. My parents live over there, but they wanted me to grow up here in Australia. Too many guns in LA. Anyway, I was going to move there once I'd finished school, but don't think I will now. The whole scene over there is so fake and artificial, don't you think? No, I wouldn't, no. No, everything's simpler here in Summer Bay. My boyfriend lives here, you know. What, Bella's dad? Him, no, he was just a fling. I'm talking about my real boyfriend. What's his name? I'm not telling you. But he's a great guy, one in a zillion. It doesn't even matter to him that Bella's not his baby. He just wants to stay with me and help me look after her because he loves me. Right. Well, I'm out. You must have stacked that deck for sure. Come on, Adam, up. Sam, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, now you found me. So how did it happen? I don't know. I just pulled out and I didn't see him coming. It could happen to anyone. I'm worried about you, Sam. If there is something wrong, I, I just wish you'd tell me what it is. There's nothing wrong with me. Then why are you fighting with all your old friends, eh? And the way you behave towards the stewards? You just don't like me making you look bad. I have bent over backwards trying to prove to you how much I care about you. And I am not going to abandon you now. Because whether you admit it or not, you need help. Look, I told you I don't need help. There's nothing wrong with me. Sam, I know your surfing career isn't going as well as you'd have us think. You don't know anything about surfing. No, it's true, I don't. But Pongo rang for you. What? Well, he's worried about you as well. He said he loaned you the wagon for a few days so that you could come home because you were depressed and needed a break. Look, there is nothing wrong with me. And I don't need you or anyone else interfering in my life. You're not supporting a head properly. Oh, sorry. So, um, where are you going from here? I haven't decided yet. We might get a place of our own. Wait. Me and Bella. Oh. Hey, Sandy. Hi, Sam. Come on in and join the party. No, thanks. So this is what you do, is it? When you're not hanging around the surf club, you're a cleaner. Yep, this is what I do. The big, tough guy has to earn his living cleaning toilets. Some of us have to work for a living. Well, then why don't you go get yourself a real job, smart guy? A real job? You mean like a surfing bum? Prefer cleaning toilets, you meet a better class of people. You think you're funny, don't you? You're pathetic, if you ask me. Is that right? Yeah, you just hide behind big words. But you're not so tough when it comes to a real fight. 
Go away, Sam. You had your chance in the surf, bro. Yeah, well, if I hadn't been... What? Off your face? Just wait till I get this thing off. Just you and me, right? What is going on here? One of your patients seems to have got out of his restraints. Next time. I leave you alone for five minutes and you're picking a fight with one of the patients? It wasn't like that, OK? Well, it looked like it to me. Then for once in your life, you're wrong. I marked the day in my diary. Look, I'm getting sick of your attitude, Noah. You can't control yourself. I'm going to have to let you go. What do you mean? What I said. This is your last chance. You stuff this job up, you're out on your own. That's not a threat. It's a promise. Hey, Sambo. How come you never came back? I didn't want to interrupt you and your friends. Do you know them? I hope that wonderful, sensitive, one in a zillion boyfriend you're talking about wasn't Will Smith, because if it was, then your tasting guys really sucks. Will? No way. We're just friends. Actually, I was joking about having a boyfriend here. You joke about a lot of things, don't you, Sandy? Life's pretty boring if you don't. Sam Marshall? Yeah, that's right. I understand you were involved in a motor vehicle accident earlier today. Yeah, look, I've already made a statement. I'm not interested in the accident, but we've just had a call from the smash repairer. Can you explain why there was a bag of marijuana in the glove box? Oh, uh, Sam, I've, uh, I've just had a call from uh, Inspector Cardo. Well, they don't waste any time, do they? Oh, no, no, they don't. Um, would you excuse us, please? Sure. No, it's okay. Sandu is here when the cop gave me this. All right. Um, look, this, uh, this marijuana they found, do you know who it belongs to? Um, could it possibly belong to Pongo? No, it's mine. Yes, I was afraid you'd say that. Well, it's no big deal. It's just a little bit of dope. All right. Um, well, I'll speak to my lawyer first thing in the morning and uh, see what can be done. Aren't you going to give me a lecture? No, Sam. I just want to help you. I'll speak to you in the morning. Uh, guys, before you get carried away, there's uh, something I need to tell you both. What's that? Well, the police found marijuana in Sam's car and they're charging him. Are you kidding? No. Nope. Well, everyone knew he was on something, but being caught with it, that's harsh. What do they think's going to happen to him? I uh, don't know, love. He'd be packing it. Well, maybe he should be more concerned about why he's using drugs in the first place, not about getting caught. Yeah, well, he's definitely got problems, but maybe they're just a little bit more serious than what we thought. It could explain why he's been such a loser to everyone. Uh, now, hang on a minute. I seem to remember a time when you guys were pretty close, both of you. Now, you don't have to convince me that he hasn't done much to deserve your friendship lately, but I can't help thinking that the real Sam's still in there somewhere. I reckon his problems go deeper than what we're seeing. And if that's the case, he's going to need his mates around him. Nothing fancy, just a shack, but it'd have to be right on the water so you could step out of your door and onto the beach. Well, if you choose a beach with good waves, then I'll come and visit. Hey, Sam. What do you want? I just thought we'd drop in and say hi. Yeah. How come every time I come here, you guys are always together? We're having an intense, passionate affair, obviously. Obviously. So where's the girlfriend? Um, she's, she's at school. Listen, if you guys want to have a little chat by yourselves, can you go on your own? No, we, um actually came here to see you. Uh, we're here to give you a chance to apologise. Yeah, right. Look, Irene told us what happened. Yeah, about the cops finding dope in your car. So what, you thought you'd come and give me a serve too? No, Sam. Look, you've been acting like a jerk for ages now and everyone's noticed it. But we all used to be mates. And if you want us to leave, we'll leave. But that's the end of us ever being mate. <sighs> Uncle Don's been pretty good about it all, considering. Yeah? Yeah, he's even getting me a lawyer. I thought he'd chuck you out in the street or something. That'd probably be a step up from the wagon. <laughs> Don, here's those forms you wanted. All right, thank you. Thanks. Look, I'm, um, I'm real sorry to hear about Sam. Yes. To be honest, he's not exactly in my good books at the moment after what he, he did to Hayley, but um, I'd hate to see him muck up his life because of drugs. Hayley? What's this about Hayley? Don't you know? What? Well, look, a couple of months ago when Sam was in town, Hayley was going through a rough patch, you know, with Ken dying and stuff, and he took advantage of her. Took 
took advantage. Yeah, he, um, he used her and then he shot through. She was very upset about it. You know, the, the more I find out about Sam, the more I realise I, I don't know him at all. So, um, have you had a chance to congratulate Sally yet? No. So, you and Will used to be pretty tight, did you? Yeah. But I didn't expect him to come and do that. Or Hayley. So, tell me about Will and Danny. I don't know much about them. They didn't get together till after I went away. But have they been together long? I don't know. A couple of months, I guess. And is it serious, do you think? I don't know. Why are you so interested anyway? Who says I'm interested? I'm curious about him. Will's an interesting guy. Sandy, that guy you were telling me about before, your boyfriend in Summer Bay, you weren't joking, were you? You were talking about Will. Maybe. But you guys didn't even go out. Not really, no, but... Here, hold Bella. No. Just take her, I've got to go to the bathroom. What am I meant to do with her? Just hold her and make sure you support her head. Well, what if she cries? Improvise. You better not weigh on me. Thanks for coming to visit. Oh, my pleasure. Hope you're feeling better soon. Bye, Judith. Bye. I've, um, I've spoken to the lawyer, Sam. Yeah, what did he say? He's optimistic. He seems to think that uh, because the amount of marijuana was so small, you should get off with just a fine, so that's good news. Yeah, but how much will the fine be? Oh, it's all right. I'll, I'll take care of that. Uh, you can pay me back when you win your first surfing competition. No, yeah, you could be waiting a while. Well, that's not a very positive attitude, Sam. No, you will. I've stuffed up really badly on the circuit. Sam, I... Uncle Donald, my life's a mess. I can't surf, I can't do anything. I haven't even qualified for a comp since I left here last time. I'm a failure. Ready to go, Sam? Yeah. Yeah, good. Um, did you uh, see the doctor this morning? Yep. They said I should be fine. I just need some physio and stuff. Ah, well, that... Uh... That's good news, then. Um, I was thinking that um, maybe you'd like to come home for a few days. Um, the, uh, the stewards will be moving out soon, and, uh, well, it can't be all that comfortable sleeping in a wagon. No, it's OK. Well, even so, I'd prefer it if you had somewhere decent. Um, you can have your old room back, you know, stay as long as you like, you know, till you uh, get back on your feet again. Yeah, well, I'll think about it. All right. Sandy! Hey, I heard you're leaving us. Yeah, they said I was taking up someone else's bed. Bella wanted to say goodbye. You want to hold it for a minute? Um, yeah, okay. Listen, Mitch. Look, I just wanted to say that well, I'm sorry for being such a, a... A jerk to everyone? Yeah, well, I haven't ever been myself lately. I think you guys know why. Well, I think uh, Hayley and Will are the ones you should be saying sorry to. Yeah, I know, but... Is there any chance we can just forget about the last week or so? Yeah, consider it forgotten. Thanks. Are you guys seen Uncle Donald around? Yeah, he's just in there. Thanks, I'll see you around. Sam. Hi. Look, I thought about your offer to stay and well, it sounds pretty good. Great, I'm glad to hear it. It might only be for a few days though. Hey, well, whatever you say. Um, you'll, uh, you'll need some keys. Right, here we are. Um, I should be home around four. All right, thanks. Yeah. Sam, it's good to have you back. Hi. Hey, you got out of hospital then? Yeah, I had to check myself out before the food killed me. <laughs> well, I guess you better come in then. Thanks. So, um... You want a drink? Um, no, I can't stay long. I've got to be home before I've got Uncle Don's keys. Oh, listen, I just came round to, to say thanks. What for? For to come to see me in hospital. You didn't have to, especially after what I did to you. I think it's a bigger deal for Hayley. Yeah, I know. Everyone keeps telling me that. Listen, is she home? No. Nah. Well, maybe you can tell her I came round then? Sure. Um, listen, I... Uh... Are you and Sandy friends now, or are you more than friends? Well, I think I should be asking you that question. No, we're just friends. Yeah, well, that's not the impression I get from her. A word of advice about Sandy. She's a nice girl and everything, but don't believe a word she says. She sort of likes to invent stuff. 
Yeah, well, she's had a hard life. Maybe that's a way of dealing with it. Yeah, exactly. So, um, are you going to stick around in the bay for a while longer? Yeah, a bit. Look, I better go, Will. See ya. All right, th thanks for dropping in. And, um, Will, will this thing with you and Sandy? It might be all in her head, but I think you better set her straight, because it's not doing her any favours. I was wondering if you'd kind of come and see us today. Yeah, well, you can stop wondering. How's things going, anyway? Great. The doctor said we can go home on the weekend. Yeah, well, where's home going to be exactly? I don't know yet. Hey, maybe you can fit us all into your room. <laughs> yeah, but we have to sleep in shifts. And besides, my girlfriend would probably get jealous. Your girlfriend? Yeah, Danny. Oh, her. I thought she was giving me the evil eye when she came here the other day. <laughs> you must have been imagining things. So, are you two pretty serious then, or what? Yeah, we're, we're pretty serious. Just as well. For a moment there, I thought you might be keen on me. All right. You and I are much better off as friends. Anything else would be disastrous. Yeah, you're right. Yeah.